Hello everyone and welcome to Medi Simplified. In this video, we are going to talk about the types of neonatal sepsis. So, what is the types of neonatal sepsis we know and we are going to talk about it in this video. So, before going about to the going to the types, uh, let's just uh, an introduction or just for the basic knowledge, let's know what is actually a neonatal sepsis. Then we can talk about its types as well. So what is neonatal sepsis? It is basically a bacterial infection. One second, I'm just new in this so it takes time to me. Uh, so it is a bacterial infection. Bacterial infection. which is affecting the neonates so neonatal means affecting the neonates and sepsis bacterial infection so bacterial infection affecting the neonates is termed as a neonatal sepsis so this is it and uh, so there are two types of uh, neonatal sepsis early onset and late onset but uh, before going to the types one more thing which i would like to mention is uh, the organisms involved in it so the most common organism involved in neonatal sepsis are di different in india and worldwide so let's mention both of them it's in india it is klebsiella whereas uh, in uh, worldwide it's group b streptococcus so once again in india it's Klebsiella. Second, Kleb. Siella. Whereas worldwide, it's Group B. Group B. Streptococcus. Streptococcus. All right. Now next thing, suppose you are giving an entrance exam and if not given any region, so uh, as we are giving exams in India, so we should mark the answer as Klebsiella. If there is nothing mentioned that worldwide or any Eastern, Western, so we should assume that if we are giving exam in India, so it's asked about India. So now types of neonatal sepsis. It's early onset neonatal sepsis and late onset neonatal sepsis so once again uh, there's a time there's a time duration on which this early and late onset has been divided so and also in this we are not going to talk about them individually uh, rather we are just going to differentiate uh, some important points between them so that um, so that we can you know kind of understand the basic difference between them so early onset and late onset early onset and late onset so types so i already said you that there's a time duration on basis of which it has been divided into early and late so the time duration that is the onset if it is before 72 hours of birth we call it as a early onset sepsis so the one second yes so the onset if it is less than 72 hours 72 hours of birth we mention it as a early onset neonatal sepsis so next thing is late onset if it is less than 22 it is early so if it is more than 72 uh, we call it as a late onset sepsis if it is more than 72 it is late onset sepsis of birth yes now the sources of this infection where from where does the neonate gets infected uh, so the source of infection in early onset and late onset both are different and uh, well what to say 
defined for both the entities so if it is a early onset the causative the source is maternal so within 22 72 hours it's but obvious the child can get infection only through mother whereas if it is a late onset that is more than 72 hours it can be a hospital or community acquired infection so any hospital related or community related acquired infection is called as uh, is the source of infection in late onset neonatal sepsis so less than 72 hours maternal source early onset more than 72 hours hospital or community acquired is late onset now talking about the risk factors risk factors so if the the risk factors for the early onset are choreo amnionitis choreo amnionitis it should be remember it's an potential questions also it's kind of a potential question of examination also so we should remember it that is choreo amnionitis whereas uh, foul smelling liquor from the baby um, and PPROM as premature rupture of membrane is called as is a risk factor for early onset neonatal sepsis and if we talk about the late onset neonatal sepsis the only risk factor is in the hospital or some relative is touching the child with an unclean hands once again unclean hands this is only one risk factor for the late onset neonatal sepsis and that is unclean hands so it's an advice to all the people that they should not touch a baby with an unclean hands because it, she may she or he may got a late onset sepsis it is after three days basically so now types of infection in uh, case of early onset sepsis the patient the child gets uh, pneumonia the child gets pneumonia whereas in late onset sepsis the child gets septicemia the child gets septi semia and the next infection which is uh, very dangerous for the child it is meningitis okay so this is the broad difference between the early onset and late onset uh, neonatal sepsis less than 72 hours of birth more than 72 hours of the birth is the time duration so this was the once again let's repeat the video is was on the types of neonatal sepsis and we discussed first the definition that is the bacterial infection affecting the neonates is known as neonatal sepsis most common organism as i said it's different in india and worldwide so in india it's klebsiella whereas worldwide it's group b streptococci or streptococcus group b streptococcus now talking about the types on which the video was exactly uh, early onset and late onset early onset less than 72 hours late onset more than 72 hours of birth source for uh, early onset was maternal and for late onset it was hospital acquired or community acquired infection any hospital or community acquired so the risk factor was once again chorionamnionitis foul smelling liquor PPRM and for the late onset only one that is the unclean hands types of infection in early that's pneumonia whereas in the late it's septicemia and must remember meningitis so this was all about the neonatal sepsis uh, sorry the types of neonatal sepsis basically the onsets source and risk factor and type of infection hope you liked the video please like share and subscribe my channel medi simplified thank you